I'm Tyne Quinones. Right now on your 13 Action News update, Metro is investigating a shooting involving their own. Police say that they shot at a man who was waving a sword. This is right near Lake Mead in MLK. Officers say that the man is in his 50s, was waving that sword and then pulled out a gun. And that's when they say they shot at him. He was not hit, but he was hospitalized for minor injuries. We're working to try to make Nevada a cleaner state. Governor Steve Sisolak is considering adopting new standards that require more vehicles to be electric. It is called Clean Cars Nevada. Now, it would mandate 6 to 8 percent of vehicles sold to be electric by the year 2025. 14 other states have similar requirements. Well, the West Flamingo DMV reopening was met with outrage as hundreds were turned away from the front doors. Police were called in and forced to break up parts of that crowd. Around eight workers told the crowd that you must have an appointment to get in. Now, those who waited for hours to get inside left disappointed and angry. The DMV had an online system issue today as well. We are told that that has since been solved and officers will be back to normal hours tomorrow. Danny. Heat is the big weather story this week with high temperatures 5 to 10 degrees above the seasonal average and today was no different. 109 is where we landed. We'll hang on to the triple digits until after sunset. We won't back off into the upper 90s until 9 or 10 o'clock tonight with clear and quiet conditions into tomorrow. Another day with highs near 109 for your Tuesday. Temperatures will stay in the 106 to 110 degree range through the end of the week with mostly dry conditions. A couple more clouds mixing in on Wednesday, but at this point a pretty stubborn weather pattern that will hold with these above average temperatures. Danny, thank you. Remember, you can always get the latest news at KTNV.com, our mobile app, Roku channel, and the latest version of Apple TV. Thank you for making 13 Action News a part of your day.